Well, hello! This is Trevor Mickelson, and I appreciate you watching this quick video. And I'm just hanging out before the sun sets, and I'm really hoping that those clouds break a little bit, just for a quick minute, so I can get in my evening sun gaze. But if not, I'll just have an awesome conversation with you. And what I'd like to do is give you a quick update on how things are progressing with the way that I have been eating and living my life. And it's been going very awesome. I've never done anything that has made such significant changes in my life in such a rapid amount of time. I've done a lot of cleanses in my life, changed a lot of the ways that I eat, anything from a gluten-free, grain-free vegan to a full-fledged carnivore. And this is the is the only thing that consistently I'm like, yep, that's it. And it works for me. It may not work for you. And this is a diary of my journey. And if you've got something that's going on awesome in your life, please share it with me. I'm sure I could learn a thing or two. May 24th was when I started sun gazing. And I gotta find out the specific day where I started to do kind of an intermittent fasting, but what I am more thinking it's going to be called when I figure it out is more uh, meditative consumption. And what I mean by that is I drink when I drink, I eat when I eat, and I don't eat when I don't eat. And that may sound simple, but it's, I mean, that's what it is. I wake up in the morning, I drink anywhere from 32 to 48 ounces or more of water. Warm, not like tea hot, but warm. So it's it's a good kind of wake me up. It feels good, it gets my stomach going. Vinegar, lemon juice, you can add whatever you want if, if that feels good to you. And I've been putting in vinegar in the morning probably like once or twice a week, just because I like the way it tastes. And then I'll wait an hour or so and then I will consume an awesome amount of calories. I'm talking big boys, like 1,800 calories, 1,700 calories. And you can live off of that. I mean, just that's what I consume for breakfast. A lot of healthy fats and oils and proteins and whole juiced uh, liquids from vegetables. And I consume that all in about an hour's time. And with, of course, with digestive enzymes and probiotics to help maximize the absorption. And then lunch will roll around and in the most healthiest way possible, I can consume whatever I'd like to. And since I've chosen a plant-based whole foods route, I literally can stuff my face with as much food as I want and I'll never be able to gain weight, really. It's, well, my body is just like, yes, this is amazing, give it to me. And then, after the, I've gorged myself, <laughs> I'll hang out for about an hour, maybe two, depending on that day. Of course, I'll have enzymes as well as that meal, or sometimes I'll just have two. I, I prefer Enzymetica, the, or is it Enzymetics? I can't remember, I gotta figure that out. But they're AT Pro. It basically is this jubilee of all these enzymes that break down fat and protein and sugars and all these different things and I think it's good stuff. And after about an hour or two of eat or after I've eaten, then I will wait and wait and then I'll consume consume a major amount of water as much as I can get. And you know, probably 50, 60, 70 ounces of water. And then I'll stop drinking probably around 8, 8.30. And that's what I do. And when I drink water, I drink water. And then I wait. And then when I eat food, I eat food. And then I wait. And then when that part is done, I drink water. And what that does is it gives my digestive tract an opportunity to digest and then cleanse and purge and not worry about digestion. And then throughout the evening when I'm sleeping, 
my body is literally healing itself. My stomach has never felt better. My skin has never been better. Um, my hair is kind of, it was thinning out there for a while, but I'm seeing all these little hairs come back. So if you can get a good look at that, this will be a close, close and personal. It's one of the reasons why I cut my hair this short was so I can see, see the progression of it growing back. Because I honestly believe it's going to. On my leg, which is really weird, I was researching this. I guess a lot of guys have this where they lose, like, it's like baldness on their legs. My, you know, a lot of people in my family don't have any uh, hair on their legs, the men. And I think that's interesting. And I'm seeing, I'm seeing my hair grow back on my legs, which is something I never, I'm like, oh, so what? My hair's gone. But that's not good. I mean, when you think you, your body stops growing hair, that's a bad sign, right? Something else is going wrong. I don't know what that is, but it's an underlining deficiency or blockage that I want to purge and get rid of. Well, no sun yet, so we'll keep talking. And my eyesight, yeah, eyesight is going really, really well. I took a trip to Utah, didn't even bring my glasses. I just left them home and made the trip out during the day and came back and it was uh, about a quarter of it, a third of it was in the night and it was, it was perfectly fine. And yes, I am doing sun gazing in the morning and in the evening on every night except when it's like this and cloudy. And that's been going really, really well. I feel different. My mind is more clear. I sleep immensely better than I've ever slept in my life. It is awesome. My meditation practices are getting easier. The words are coming to my mouth uh, easier as well. I'm just happier. My life is a lot better. And it's because of the way I believe that I've chosen to eat. And I just got done with a book club that I went to and we read the book Before Happiness, which is written by Sean Acor. He wrote The Happiness Advantage. And they talk a lot about your perception and your reality of how people who have, who have a happy life, they're able to do that. And it goes into the structure and kind of formulas of successful patterns that people have. And through the study of positive psychology. And what it really didn't address was how people ate, it was more how they thought. And I'd be curious to have a conversation with him for him to do more research on the way that people eat through his studies or just the happier people that he finds in his studies and whatnot if, if that were to amplify or enhance the progression of the onset of happiness, which is totally possible. You just realize that you are the creator of your own universe and reality and nobody can take away your joy or be a joy killer, right? Or at least that's what I think, but, you know, everybody has their own boat to row downstream or a mountain to climb, as I've chosen not to ever do again. But overall, this whole pattern and habits that I'm forming have been immensely beneficial for me. I've always wanted a six-pack, like always wanted a six-pack, since I knew what six-packs were, and I only had a four-pack, I could only get a four-pack, which is kind of a bummer, and I was swimming, and I played water polo, and I was doing all these outdoor activities, and I was hitting the gym, and crutches, and I used to be a bodybuilder back in like 2001, it was crazy, could you imagine me, like 215, 225 pounds, yeah, right? And what I never realized, and what I am confident most folks don't, is that they feel that they need to focus on working out, running that extra mile, going up those extra steps, doing that extra thousand crunches, hitting that mountain harder than you've ever done before. And all they needed to do, wow, these mosquitoes are coming out, switch the way that they eat. 
I see so many people come out of the gym and then just gorge themselves on a sugary Starbucks drink or something or these smart waters that just have a bunch of sugar in them or whatever it is. I don't know if that, I don't know if smart water has any sugar in it, but it's the only thing that came to my mind. But all this stuff, these empty calories that fill you with nothing. And it's really important to step back and actually ask yourself if what you are creating and consuming is what you need and getting you closer to your goals or is it moving you further from. And it's difficult to switch that mindset at the very very beginning because you don't realize that that's exactly what it is. It's a mindset. You could say it is difficult to stop drinking sugary beverages or eating f nasty f like deep fried food or it's easy it's easy not to drink that it's easy to eat this it's easy to it's just like me and that's actually how I started to create my own reality and switch directions and my journey and my path is I started to instead of saying it's difficult to I started to say it's easy to and it's just like me. It's just like me to run 10 miles in a week and then some. It's just like me to wake up before sunrise and meditate and do yoga. It's just like me to start juicing five or six times a week to sustain and bring forth health and wellness that has never been experienced before. It is just like me to reach finance, financial abundance and be job free, debt free and boss free. And it is just like me apparently to get attacked by mosquitoes, huh? or not. But, uh, you know, I would encourage everybody to keep experimenting. Einstein didn't find the right methodology to create the light bulb on round one. It took him a few times, just a few. Rome wasn't built in a day. Many a man died before he got to the peak of Everest. And it took thousands of settlers to have died coming across this country for us to be able to live here in peace and harmony. And so when you're going through your own battles and your own journey, there is two ways to look at things. Difficult, it's hard to, it's frustrating, or it's easy to. It's just like me. Shifting your perspective, shifting your reality, because you are the wizard and creator of your own universe. And I can't change you, nor can you change me. But I would encourage you to give yourself enough space, focus on what really matters, and find a way to heal it is whatever you came here to heal and prove to someone in your life that you could heal that. Whether it's your mindset, whether it's your energy level, whether it's your skin, whether it's your eyesight, whether it's your outlook on work, whether it's your ability to read or your addictions to coffee or television or cigarettes or alcohol or whatever it might be that you are here to prove that it can be done just like I am here showing up consistently to prove to you that I don't need my glasses anymore and if I don't well maybe somebody else doesn't maybe somebody else will step up maybe somebody else will start rowing their boat down the stream Maybe somebody else will find out how easy it is to find their purpose and find their passion in life. And maybe it's something as simple as eliminating dinner and consuming enough calories and breakfast and lunch. And allowing your body to do what it needs to do and is designed to do. <laughs> it's not designed to be in pain all the time. It's designed to be in peace. This is heaven on earth. But most people would say 
most. A lot of people would say it's hell on earth because that's the position of the mindset. But it's not. It's heaven on earth. Like, look at me. I'm sitting in one of the most beautiful places I've ever been, about to watch an epic, epic sunset. And in the meantime, my body is this close to flipping the switch to start healing itself. It's magical. And my knees are releasing their pain. My ankles are releasing their pain. My hips are releasing their pain. I'm running like fast these days. I'm swimming faster. My yoga practice is <laughs> more blissful, I feel. I mean, I, it's like I always dreamed it would be. And it all came from believing that my life was like it is now before it happened. So, what do you want out of life? What do you believe that you can get? Who are your role models? What books are you reading? Who are you surrounding yourself by? What conversations do you get stuck in at the water cooler? What do you say in traffic? What radio stations are you listening to? What podcasts are you feeding your mind with? All of these things play a part in enabling habits to create and form and enabling you to be you. But the question is, is do you want to be you? Do you like you? And if you don't, who would you be if you could? And follow that path downstream. If you're mad, be less mad tomorrow. That's downstream. If you gorge yourself and you're obese and you want to lose weight, research one thing on how to be healthier tomorrow. That's downstream. Be more passionate about something, anything. Think of something crazy like growing your own hair back Losing the glasses, healing your eyes, signing up for a triathlon. Think about what that would feel like to have accomplished those things. At this moment, no. I can't read a sign like if it were way, 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 way down there. But I can read a book at full arm's length when before it would have to be right up to my head, like to my face. That's huge. It's huge. And it's only getting better faster. And I would encourage you to challenge yourself to be better just a little bit every single day and believe with utmost faith that you are going to bring it into this world through your divine abilities. Because we were made in the image of God, right? <laughs> I don't think he'd leave the creation part behind. Do you? Do you think he would? Well, I don't because I see it every day. I'm able to create a better attitude. I'm able to create healing within my body. I'm able to create an amazing garden. I'm able to create better relationships. I'm able to create awareness with my son and my own life and my surroundings. It's time for you to be a creator and allow yourself and your divine abilities to shine through in small ways that as the seed of inspiration grows, the fruits of your labor in the future will be abundance far more than you ever thought would po be possible in the beliefs that you have today. Believe in yourself. Believe in your own wisdom. Point your boat downstream. Stop climbing the mountain. Or at least that's what I've done. And it's worked for me. And if it, something else works for you, I'd love to hear about it. 
And if you like this video, then do me a favor and like this video. If you have a comment, good, bad, or indifferent, I love to hear it. And if you think that somebody deserves this message in your life, feel free to share it on social media or with that person privately. And if you'd like to keep in communication and follow this interesting journey, if it is a good use of your time and you learn something and you'd like to be connected, then join the community and subscribe. And maybe we'll look back a year or five years from now and we'll have a million subscribers and we will have changed the course and consciousness of this world. Just you and me. So here we go. I appreciate your time. Good luck. You can do it. And so can I. I appreciate you. We'll talk soon. Trevor Mickelson. Out. <laughs> oh. Let's just take a minute to look at this. Oh, gosh. You can, I don't think you can, like, capture this sunset on, on this camera. But what's been great <clears throat> is while I'm watching this sunset on this side, got this beautiful, gorgeous view on the moon adjacent. It's, this is what I've been looking at the whole time. I've been catching this sunset and oh, you can't capture it but that's okay. I'm gonna go enjoy this thing. Talk soon.